My name is Lisa, a stay-at-home mom living with my husband Noah and our adorable daughter Madison. Noah is often busy with work and frequently does overtime, so he doesn't get to spend much time with the family on weekdays. However, on weekends, he takes over making breakfast and always takes Madison to the park. Today, we all went to a park with a lot of large playground equipment. Look, Daddy, that slide is so long. I'm going to try it. Well, of course Daddy will come with you. Lisa, could you take pictures from below? Okay. You two be careful going up. Wow, Mommy looks so small from here. Mommy, I'm going now. Here we go. Phew. That was quite fast, wasn't it, Madison? How was it? It was so much fun. Let's go again. But next time, I want to climb up in your arms. Oh, oh. My arms and back will have to be strong. It'll be cheering from here. It'll give you a massage later. Go for it, Noah. That's both happy and sad news. Anyway, off we go. This is about Noah and Madison. Despite his busy schedule, Noah always makes time for his family, and because of him, we have been living a happy life. Then, one day... Lisa, big news. It seems Ulyss is getting married. She's pregnant too, and she's going to leave her parents' home. Is that so? Congratulations. But, your mother will be alone then. Yeah, I'm worried about that too. She has a chronic illness. So, I was thinking, what if we move in with my parents now? Your mother has always been good to us, I totally agree. Really? Thank you, Lisa, that's a big help. With my sister-in-law Ulyssa getting married and moving out, Noah discussed with me the idea of moving in with his parents. I am also concerned about his mother living alone due to her chronic illness. So, we agreed to move in together as a family. Once we started living with Noah's parents. Mother-in-law, shall I prepare the meals? Lisa, you must be busy with little Madison, right? It's hard for the elderly to eat the same as young people. I can't make you do everything twice, so I will prepare my own meals. I'll also take care of my own cleaning and laundry. You should spend your time with Madison. Mother-in-law, thank you. I'll let you know when I'm going shopping, so please tell me if there's anything you want. My mother-in-law was always considerate towards us and took care of her own needs. Because of this, we were able to live peacefully without any major troubles. A few months later, Ulyssa, who had recently given birth, came over with her baby. Lisa, in not feeling well. Could you change my baby's diaper and such? I feel really bad asking. Are you okay? I know it's tough after giving birth. Don't worry, they'll take care of it, rest up. This is about my sister-in-law, Ulyssa, who, although she moved out of the family home, didn't live too far away. Following this incident, Ulyssa frequently started coming over to the house and leaving her child with us for child care. At this time, I was also pregnant with my second child and was increasingly finding it physically demanding and worrying. However, Noah has been busier with work recently and I've been enduring without being able to discuss it with him. This continued even as I reached the final month of my pregnancy. Hey Lisa. Thanks for taking care of my child again today. I'm counting on you. Thanks, but I haven't agreed to anything yet. You mean today, too? Come on, it's been really stressful and tough for me since giving birth. You might have forgotten since you're used to childcare, but it's really hard. I understand that, but... You're bringing the child almost every day. I think it's important to spend some quiet time as a family, too. It's fine, isn't it? Madison just started kindergarten and she must be bored. It's not about being bored, but... Mother-in-law. What's with that flashy outfit? Do you think it suits me? Ulyssa gave it to me as a present. I was embarrassed at first. But once I tried it on, I thought I still look pretty good. It does suit you, but it looks expensive. And Ulyssa, your inner wear is really glittery, too. Lisa, you're surprisingly conservative, aren't you? Even as a mom, at any age, you should wear what you want. Oh, but maybe not for you right now. It's your second child. You don't need to be so nervous about everything. Besides, we're not going out, just asking you to look after the child at home. No problem at all. That might be true, but it feels like even your personality is more upbeat. Today's the release of a movie I've been dying to see. So, I'm going for lunch and a movie with mom. We'll be back after it's over so please take care of the child until then. Well then, let's go. 
Lisa, please take care of the housework too. No rush. Ah, uh, it's not about the speed. Call if anything comes up. By now. Hey, wait. You won't be able to answer the phone during the movie. Despite my frustration, Ulyssa and mother-in-law happily skipped out of the house. The once kind mother-in-law had gradually taken Ulyssa's side, making it seem normal to leave the babysitting to me. The household chores she used to handle herself increasingly fell on me. That night, reaching my limit of endurance and contemplating talking to Noah about it. Daddy, Madison loves you. Oh, thank you. What brought this on all of a sudden? I need help, because mommy is having a hard time because of Aunt Ulyssa and Grandma. Madison, what are you starting to say? Wait, Lisa, Madison, what do you mean? Can you tell me more? Aunt Ulyssa always leaves her baby here and goes out with Grandma. Mommy looks after the baby instead, and she seems really tired. What? Is that true, Lisa? Yes. It's almost every day now. And it's pretty tough, especially now that I'm in my final month of pregnancy. Mommy was endearing it because Daddy seemed so busy. Mommy isn't at fault, so you shouldn't be mad about her keeping it a secret. Madison, thank you so much for being so considerate. Of course, Mommy isn't at fault. I'm sorry I've been too busy to notice. And thank you for telling me, Madison. Madison is everyone's helper. Sorry for troubling you when you're busy. I've been thinking, if they're going to do whatever they want, maybe we could try this strategy. Noah came up with a proposal for Madison and me. It was a wonderful idea, and we both decided to go along with the plan. A few days later, as usual, Ulyssa came to our in-law's house. Hey there. I'm heading to the cafe near the station today, so once again, I'm counting on you for babysitting. It's a new place that's been the talk of the town. I've been wanting to go to. So please take care of the housework as well. Is that so? Well, I'm going to my parents' house, so please take care of yourselves. What? Why? I'm asking you to babysit. That's right. It doesn't have to be on a day we're going out. You can go to your parents' house anytime. No, I'm going for a maternal homecoming, so from now on, please manage childcare and housework between the two of you. Hey, don't decide that on your own. Such important things should be discussed as a family. If you suddenly disappear, who will babysit? Exactly. I wasn't informed about this. Deciding to leave without consulting your cohabitants is outrageous. Wasn't it equally outrageous when I wasn't consulted about babysitting? I did tell you. I said, please take care of it. Lisa, you don't like you, Lisa, do you? That's why you're being spiteful. She's a legitimate member of the family, do. You can say such things. Consultation means talking about it beforehand and listening to the other person's opinion. Have either of you ever listened to my opinion? I said it was too hard for me because it's difficult. If just stating your opinion counts, then I've said mine too, and going to my parents' house. That's different. The magnitude of the situation isn't the same. Right. Going to your parents' house is a major, long-term issue. You should discuss it properly with Noah. There's no need for that. We've already talked it over as a couple. And Madison is going to. Noah, weren't you at work? Why are you here? I took a few days off. I'm here to escort Lisa and Madison. Why did you decide to go to your parents' house without telling me? It'll be left alone. Exactly. We have plans too, and it's a problem if you just leave on your own. Oh, so tell me, what are these plans? If you can convince me that it's absolutely necessary for Lisa to be here, I'll reconsider. That's, um, anyway, it's impossible without Lisa. If you can say it, I'll say it for you. You secure free childcare and then both of you go out to play, right? How do you know that? What's this about making a pregnant woman do childcare? Using someone's wife for free labor? It's because of your behavior that we decided to send Lisa back to her parents. Noah, you're misunderstanding. Calm down. Ick, aunt, lying is not good. My kindergarten teacher said so. Madison saw everything. Mommy was taking care of the baby every day. Aunt and Grandma were just playing. That's not true. I was taking care of things behind the scenes, really. And looking after a small child is hard. A little free time is okay, isn't it? When did Mommy have free time while she was taking care of the baby? Exactly. Mom, you've always been too lenient with Ulyssa. Now you're influenced by Ulyssa and have... At first, the two were indignant 
but as Noah continued with a stern tone, they gradually began to panic. What are you saying? We live together as a family, right? We're supposed to support each other. Indeed, you declared you would handle your own things, and at first, I was reassured because you did. But lately, you haven't been doing anything, right? I've been handling all the housework. I, I've been doing things behind the scenes. Housework is like that, isn't it? It's fine for mom to rely on others a bit. She's old after all, right? Then, let's assume that's the case for now. By the way, it seems you've acquired quite a few personal items recently. Like this, frilly clothes and glittery bags, there are so many. Hey, don't just go through other people's things. And about going to cafes and lunch, you've been generously paying for them, haven't you, mother-in-law? So what if she does? It's okay for a daughter to be spoiled a bit, right? That's right. Besides, Ulyssa also gives me presents. It's a win-win relationship. And where is that money coming from? Mother-in-law, you asked Noah to increase his allowance, didn't you? I was foolish. I should have realized when she brought it up. I just took her word for it that it was to help Lisa. Grandma was lying. I'm so disappointed. It can't be helped. It was for my daughter's sake. I wasn't squandering money for myself. Even so, you should have honestly talked about it beforehand. Misplacing priorities can break trust. Hey, don't everyone gang up on mom. She did it out of kindness for me. You're still defending mom. Seems like Ulyssa still has some leeway. Just so you know, you'll be held accountable by the appropriate people. What? What do you mean? I've been wondering, coming back to your parents' house and spending money every day. Does your husband know about it and approve? Wait, you can't be serious. I've already contacted him, told him you've been spending recklessly for your own sake. It seems he was only told it was for childcare expenses, right? And he didn't think you were coming home every day like this. And on his days off, he's overworked doing household chores without any help from you, right? He was really upset when I spoke with him, complaining for over an hour. He said he hasn't been able to show the grandchildren to his parents because you claimed it was too hard. Yet you've been showing up at your parents' house almost daily. It's naturally seen as unfair. Hey, what have you done to me? This is too cruel, even for your own sister. Then what about mommy? Wasn't it cruel to her? And, you know, when mommy is troubled, Madison is sad too. Grandma and aunt were making Madison suffer too. Don't you care about that? That's, well, I didn't mean to. To have Madison say this much is unforgivable. If you're energetic enough to go out every day, you can live on your own, right? What do you mean? Isn't Lisa just going to her parents' house? And leaving the house too. Lisa's return to her parents' house will be the start of us moving to a new home. Upon hearing that it wasn't just a maternal homecoming but a complete family move, the two began to frantically try to stop them. What did you say? That's troublesome. You moved in to take care of me, didn't you? Even now, you're only worried about yourself. It's almost refreshing. We've made our decision. We do not intend to share our new address. Please, do not involve yourselves with this anymore. This is the end of it. How could you? That's too much. Lisa, you think so too, right? We've been helping each other out, haven't we? Lisa, we're family, aren't we? How can you keep secrets like this? That's cruel. Andy, you just called mommy a babysitting stuff. You talk about family, but you seem busy. Which is true. Grandma, the helping each other part was a long time ago, right? Let's stop telling old stories. Madison has said everything I wanted to say. She's so reliable. So, that's why it's your own doing. Wait, I'll apologize. I'll do better from now on. Please come back. Me too. From now on, I'll help with the child care equally. But you're still thinking of leaving your child with someone else. It's astonishing. People don't change that easily. It's easier to change oneself. That's why Uncle also set up a surprise visit, right? Wait, what does that mean? You'll find out when you get home. He should be off work today, too. Your husband paid us back for all the diapers and things we fronted. He's a good man. I told Uncle in detail about how you've been spending your time here. No need to start the conversation from scratch, don't worry. No, no. I don't want to go back. Please, come back here. Thus, Madison and I returned to my parents' home, and soon after, Noah moved to our new house. The in-law's house suddenly became empty, and mother-in-law lost her spirit due to loneliness. 
Ulysses' excessive spending came to light, and her husband grew tired of her laziness and dependence on her parents' house. Meanwhile, for us. Mommy, when will the cherry tomatoes sprout? We just planted the seeds, so if we water them every day and the weather's good, maybe in a few days? The best part about our new house is the spacious garden. Maybe we should buy a paddling pool when it gets hotter. Right now, they sell goldfish scooping sets and other water play toys at the dollar store. Let's look into it. We can have a pool, not a bath, but in the garden. Yes, we'll start with shallow water so the baby can join in too. Oh, speak of the devil, time to change diapers. We'll be right back. All right, it'll be back soon too. Ah, uh, do we have to go inside? I want to play more in the garden. Then he'll switch with daddy and come back out. I safely gave birth to our second child, and we're enjoying a comfortable life in our new home, which is conveniently close to supermarkets and banks. Madison loves the spacious garden and spends most of her time there on days off. Taking care of two children is more hectic than I imagined, leaving no time to rest. Yet, I feel happy, probably because I'm surrounded by the people I love. Grateful to Noah, who always puts us first, I intend to cherish every day of our lives.